the dandy. Yeah, they're not, not going to be any working into it. We're starting with a huge one in size. Figuratively both and, and literally. Yeah. Oh, we're on the same page. Kyle Snyder, your 2015 U.S. Open champion. Jake Varney, your 2012 Olympic gold medalist Yikes. squaring off. Yeah, it's going to be a great matchup. Last time it was a 2-0 win for Snyder, completely shutting down Varner's offense. Uh, and that's going to be the challenge for Varner, opening up the very positionally disciplined Kyle Snyder. Great hand fighter, good at moving his feet, tough guy to open up. We'll see what adjustments Varner makes after getting his hands on him one time. And there you have, of course, Snyder in the red, Jake Varner in the blue. Varner trying for an over -call. He goes to the patented ankle pick, can't get through it, slaps the sock of Snyder but can't get any closer. And when Varner strings moves together, like he's going over tie, shuck to an ankle pick there, that's gonna be how he's gonna get um, takedowns against Snyder. It's not gonna be just a one shot and finish. It normally takes, you gotta move Snyder around if you wanna get that takedown. And there you see Kyle Snyder with the uh, collar tie over collar for Varner in the first passive call will go against Kyle Snyder. You saw Varner really kind of hold his ground more so in the center of the mat and they decide to hit Snyder first. One minute just about down here in the first period of match number one. Of course, two out of three to win the spot on the world team. You gotta win two matches. So each weight we're gonna see at least two and uh, in the instances we get lucky enough, we'll see a third. Placed third in the 2011 World Championship. Varner with a noticeable size difference. You see Snyder looking for that ankle pick. Uh, a leg attack he's really improved on in the last year. So there's a shot from space. Front headlock now for Snyder. Looking to go behind from here. Actually more of a chest wrap than a front headlock. Excuse and he me. does. He, he gets behind. all the way behind. And <laughs> Varner just kind of shrugs him off as to say, you're like my little brother. Yeah, get off me there. And he got to a rear standing there, but great job by Varner able to square up and uh, no no points there, but if, if I'm Jake Varner, that's in the back of my mind. Dang, if I take a shot here, um, I got to be careful because he's got this nice chest wrap. So now Snyder could go on the shot clock, 30 seconds here to get a point on the board. So it's up to Kyle, 30 seconds, or he'll give the first point up to Jake Varner. He controls an inside tie on the left. Nice snap. Brought Varner to his knees. Jake recovers quickly and a beautiful job head on the outside shot lifts the champ up and great wow, hit by great Jake Varner hit. able to defend and breaks the lock they say no points Varner now in a front head position eight seconds to go on the shot clock and does Jake try to move him forward and probably not you no, want to earn the caution, the caution and the point not just the push out and there you see the 30 seconds up one point to Jake Varner with a caution against Kyle Snyder Great job um, by Snyder getting in deep, but even better job by Varner getting that foot on the mat. Snyder likes to finish. When well, he gets that high crotch, likes to finish single leg, wasn't able to get to it there. Um, so Varner wins the first little battle there. And, and part of me thinks that Kyle Snyder had potential an opportunity to take him out of bounds for a push out. Step out, yeah, absolutely. Wanted to get uh, a takedown and score two instead of the one. And I wonder if he could go back if he would yeah. uh, nice do drag. something differently. And here we go. Body lock, and it's going to be a step out. One point in favor of Kyle Snyder. So he earns the first offensive point. But pushing Jake Varner out of bounds. And it'll be 1-1 one, one on the scoreboard. Snyder, though, of course, does have that caution against him. Short time now as we wind down here in the first period. And back to your point on, on the shot clock, if that was truly um, Snyder's intention, it was being ambitious, wanting that takedown, that may be a tactical error against someone like Varner, especially when you're on the shot clock. When you're on the shot clock, just get that point. You don't want to give that up. So who knows what um, it was. That's speculation on our part. But uh, if you go on the shot clock again, you're going to want to see him uh, get that step out point. So we'll take it back to the center here in just a couple of seconds, and it will be 1-1. One, one. There you see Kyle Snyder. The just a freshman in college from Ohio State University, as we said in the open, an NCAA runner-up. Trying to uh, follow that with the U.S. Open and World Team Trials titles. Yep, that so would be an impressive feat. When's the last time a freshman in college won the World Team Trials? Question? I couldn't tell you, buddy. 1906. 1906. And Snyder, ooh, got to the leg. Garner gave up nothing, though. Garner looking super crisp defensively getting those feet moving as soon as Snyder's attack but credit now looking throw by there and Snyder again pushes him more so towards the edge although still in the zone and now we see him go again to the edge and it's going to be potentially two, two. they are going to go two for Warner will it be confirmed 
And yes, they indicate three on the scoreboard total. Yeah, they challenge. And I, this could prove to be an erroneous challenge. I'm not sure. Here's here's what they're they're going to contend is that he didn't control him long enough to get the two. But if they're thinking this is going to get pushed back to a, a step out, it, it won't be because um, he didn't complete the takedown. What I'm saying here is you got to finish him. You, they allow that continuation on the edge there. So they're going to look back. And if he, in fact, got the two, and I... I see what, ah! what I see Varner's point there. I, he never I, actually controlled all both, the way through. Both at hand. And control is more of a term we use it in folk style. Right. But I think I think it there may be if you take a picture of this right here, maybe that looks like two. But did he ever really plan them pass all the way behind? They're and going they two, two and so one more. Wow. One more for the failed challenge. So it'll be four one. Oh, Kyle boy. Snyder with the lead, and this is big. And that's the risk you run when you challenge. Uh, Varner, you know, in a way was going to need a takedown regardless. And now you see him forced to shoot. He takes a double leg from space. They come up over under position. 2.12 on the clock. Kyle Snyder, you know, hasn't surrendered a point other than the shot clock violation. And, you know, it's sitting pretty, uh, in our eyes anyways, with two minutes to go. He and he comes back unders. with double unders pushing Varner back. Kyle Snyder's got some horsepower. He, th that is absolutely noticeable here. And Varner going to try to flip the script. And the, the whole <laughs> foot has to go out. And Snyder, once again, in the zone. Needs to square up there. White paddle, but he's still on the edge there. Got to be careful against someone as powerful as Varner. But to your point, Bader, absolutely. Uh, Kyle Snyder, incredibly strong, especially with those upper body ties. Moving around someone as big and strong as Jake Varner. That, that's a testament to both his positioning and his power. Dude is a house. So finger fight left there, inside control for Snyder. Will he continue to shoot? Is he gonna try to get back to an ankle pick? There's a, something like kind of a, that's how Varner sometimes sets up his duck under. And we're down to 70 seconds to go here in this bout. Kyle Snyder looking to get one step closer to making the senior world team, of course, 2013 junior world champ, 2014 junior world bronze medalist. And, uh, Trying to step it up this year. Looking the part here, putting four points on the board against Jake Varner is no joke. And speaks to his continued progression. I mean, just from second to NCAAs to US Open champion, now scoring more points on Varner than he did at the Open. And not to mention, at Beat the Streets, he beat Cortina, uh, a world bronze medalist just last year. So from Cuba, correct. So now look at that, 35 to go, Kyle Snyder. Whew. Folks, watch out. He has just completely shut Jake Varner down to this point. Varner's offense um, debunked. No, nothing, for, nothing for Kyle Snyder at this point. You give Kyle Snyder a three-point lead and his ability to hand fight, block off, control the ties, it's, uh, it's, there's not many people in the world that are going to be able to open one, up to Maybe this one, one guy named Christian Piles. <laughs> yeah, you never know. And look at that, 10 seconds to go. Let's see if Varner puts a last-second flurry together. He pulls on the head. That's and gonna he's do not it. Gonna get a chance. Kyle Snyder wins the second in a row, the first one tonight over Jake Varner, and he is one match away from representing the United States at the 2015 World Championships. And just poised beyond his years uh, to be able to come out and give up that first point.